These researchers are hard at work. They've been preparing for months for the mission of a lifetime. I'm a big sci-fi nerd. So if you were to ask me a few years ago, would I be involved in something with the International Space Station or NASA? I'd say no, but I would love the opportunity to. Ed Kelly and Jonathan Himmelfarb get that opportunity now. They're researchers sending kidney chips into space from Cape Canaveral, Florida. What we're trying to understand is how does microgravity affect the kidney? The kidney on a chip mimics functions of the organ. Researchers run tests by injecting fluid that contains drugs or toxins. It's a way to learn about kidney disease, which affects about 30 million Americans. So we desperately need new therapies to prevent or to cure kidney diseases and to prevent their progression towards the need for dialysis or transplantation. And launch of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. One benefit of conducting these experiments in space is that cells age faster. And we think this will give us insight in a short period of time to human aging that would be much harder to see in an experiment on Earth and allow us to de develop insights into how these cell functions change in a matter of days instead of a matter of weeks or months. Insights like the role kidneys play in bone loss. And what happens in microgravity is that you can lose up to 1% of your bone mass per month. And so we're using that special environment to accelerate what happens to the kidneys, to the bones, to understand how it can impact osteoporosis on the ground. But before liftoff, they are completely re-engineering the experiment, simplifying it for the astronauts who will run it on the space station. Because space is limited, they had to shrink the research apparatus, turning equipment roughly the size of a commercial refrigerator into the size of a microwave. We really have one shot at getting this right on the International Space Station. So we are building backups to the backups to the backups uh, for every contingency that we could think of to make sure that the experiment goes well. Taking a leap forward in research to bring us answers here on Earth. The International Space Station has literally hundreds of experiments going on at any given time. It is collaboration across countries around the globe. And so because of that, it's really exciting in that regard. We're hopeful that this will be one more step along the line towards understanding how the kidney works in health and disease in a way that will lead to new diagnostic tests as well as therapies for a variety of different kidney diseases. From the UW Medicine Newsroom in Seattle, I'm Katie Chen.